Now we're ready to do some work on slide nine. Slide nine is finding a herbivore that lives in your park. Remember that these are animals that only eat plants. So I'm going to start back at the nps.gov website and find my National Park White Sands. If you remember from yesterday, you scroll all the way down to the bottom until under the word tools at the very bottom, you see the word site index. Click on site index, scroll down, and there are all the things that are found on your page about your national park. So I'm gonna go all the way down to where it says nature here. And I'm gonna look through and find an animal that might be a herbivore. Now, sometimes you have to click on birds or fish or amphibians to see a bigger list, but the list that's opened up for me here is under mammals. And when I look under mammals, I can look and see which one I think might only eat plants. All members of the deer family only eat plants, so I'm going to look for a deer first, but I didn't see any deer listed as a mammal in my park there. So the next choice I went to was a rabbit. I know that rabbits don't hunt and kill things to eat, that they eat plants. So let's try the black-tailed jackrabbit. Going to click on it and it'll open up maybe some information on it. So there's the black-tailed jackrabbit. And as I look down here, it says that he forages for plants and vegetation that he eats. If you wanted to make sure about what it ate, you can go to Google and type in like I did, black-tailed jackrabbit diet. And a box should come up with the most popular answer. And here it says that he eats shrubs, small trees, grasses, and forbs. And so it feeds, at the last sentence there, on plant species in the community. So I know now that the black-tailed jackrabbit is a herbivore. I also need to find its scientific name. So I went to Google again and at the top you can see I typed in black-tailed jackrabbit scientific name and there it is Lepus californicus. So I can write that down or copy it so that now I have the information that I need for slide 9. Next I'm going to go back to my keynote presentation and you can see that I have made it ahead of time so that you can get a look at it. So let me play it for you. There is the picture of the black-tailed jackrabbit. Aren't those ears huge? They are so cool. So I need to put on there the word herbivore to show that this is my herbivore. Now I chose an animation that made it look like it was hopping because I thought, you know, it's a rabbit, so maybe I'll have a hopping animation. So this is my herbivore. The next thing I need is its name the black-tailed jackrabbit, and now I need its scientific name, Lepus californicus. A lot of times you'll see scientific names put in parentheses marks, and you notice that in the scientific name, the first word is capitalized and the second word is lowercase. Here are the things you need for your slide. You need a picture of your herbivore, you need the word herbivore, you need the name of your herbivore, black-tailed jackrabbit, and you need its scientific name. Then you needed to add your animations and your transition, and you will be finished with piece or slide nine of your National Park keynote.